Hey everyone, it's Alpha Queen and welcome back to Dragon Quest XI. Last time we concluded the Michelle bet the story between Michelle and Kainoa. And I think we are ready to leave Lonolulu. So, if we go. Right, uh, I wonder if the mermaids don't go and the ghost show will. Okay, so everyone still thinks the mermaid's curse is a real thing. I think Kai will just probably stay on, um... Was it Sakuri Beach? Sakuri Beach? Whatever it was. Let's zoom back to... Where is it? Magic, Apple, Zoom. Let's go back to the Strand. And see what awaits us. Because Michelle can't take us to see the Queen. But we need to see the Queen of the Sea. So, um... Okay, there's a red chest there. Is that just gonna contain the orb? Is that it? What's in here? Lorelei's harp. There's a note at the bottom of the chest. Apple takes it out and begins to read. Dear friend, if you're reading this, it means I've gone away. If what you said to me is true, I don't think I can stay. Thanks for all you've done for me, and please don't feel too sad. After my Kai, you're the kindest friend I've ever had. I promised that I'd take you to the Mermaid Seabird Town, and though I can't come with you now, this harp will take you down. You'll find a shining whirlpool far inside the inland sea. Sail over it and strum that harp to meet Her Majesty. Please tell the Queen that I'm happy now, and there's no need to cry. I'm finally reunited with my dear darling Kai. Perhaps one day we'll meet again, but for now, farewell. You'll be my friend until the end. You'll sincerely show. Wow, okay. So, God bless her soul. Michelle has given us a harp. Now, let's see. Uh, misc? Items? Don't know who could be carrying it. Maybe it's just in the bag. Important items. It'll be somewhere in there, right? Let's use it. And tries to play. But it doesn't seem to work here. Oh, wait. Do we have to... Uh, do we have to go to where the whirlpool is? I wish I could reread that note. Uh, items... Important items... That's a queen's final letter, a key's letter. Hmm. Wait. How's it gone? There we go. New details. I don't know. You probably have to sail somewhere, right? To a whirlpool? I don't know. Maybe we have to play it when we're at sea. Is that sort of the Mudra's triangle situation? Let's let's try it here. Um items No oh damn. Where is it? Use. It doesn't seem to work here. Item bag. Hmm. I wish I could reread that letter. Serena won't have it. Does would anyone have it? Equipment bag. Important items. Um. Chalky letter. No. She said something about a whirlpool. So I think, is it somewhere around here, maybe? I don't know what what's here. Let's disembark here. Go on, then. Yeah, I, I don't know. Insula Occidentalis? Yeah, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna beeline it straight for this... What well, looks like an inn. I'm just gonna go in here. 
Make my presence known. Oh, it's a bodkin archer. Interesting. Are you the only person on this entire island? No, there's someone else here. This place is an island for emits, exiles, and other assorted outcasts. When I was younger, I got up to all sorts. Pirating and pillaging and the like. But now I spend my days just staring out to sea. Uh, okay, fine. I'll, I'll disappear then. Okay, 200 gold. They can't just randomly have this disgusting place without something interesting. A mini metal. Okay, there you go. That's that's what it is. And what looks like another sort of like door of departure situation. Don't want to fight any of these things. Okay, let's just an orc. There's these like ugly purple rabbit things. Let's fight them. Okay, fine. We get another two bonus orcs. They're like unicorn rabbits. Sorry, spiked hairs. Should I say? Um, I don't think I have any multi attacks with Eric, so I'll just attack. Uh, let's do a crackle on the orcs. Oh, that's interesting. My lineup has changed again. Hmm. Uh, Serena, you can do a bit of a whoosh on. Um... Oh, it's changed because. Yeah, okay. Because it changed in the the octa the octa whatever it was, the octopus battle. Multi thrust. Yeah, this really isn't my strongest lineup. Like all my strong characters, well, mainly Rab and Jade actually, are not here. Uh, let's attack the orcs. Veronica's pretty strong. Eric isn't great for like these battles because. I don't know. He's only good on attacking one enemy. Why are you pepped up? You have no reason to be pepped up. Um, let's just do a bang, shall we? Okay. Well done, Veronica. Level 26 for a total of 10. Rap has 10 skill points. Nice. Let's have a look. Uh, Apple... Let's see. 16 and 12. There's... Oh, yeah. There's the general sword mastery. Okay, so you're gonna need another level up. Rab? I don't know. That's 12. That's 13. That's 13. And I don't really want to go into these. I'll probably end up going down, um... The heavy ones once I'm done with that. But yeah, we're done for now. I also really want to fight this massive troll. Okay, let's go into lineup. Let's switch you and you, you with you, and uh, actually, yeah, that looks good to me. I'll keep Veronica in there. And I'll also do a bit of a hand to heal all. And I'll fight this big green, like, troll thing once I've got this sparkly splot. That's such a, she a seashell. Oh, why are there seven enemies? Useless. Okay, so Vando, you can attack. It's called a Jowler. I can attack the spiked hairs. Uh, Jade, you can attack the Jailer. Yeah, I had a feeling you'd do a bit of damage. Damn. Uh, let's do uh, a frizzle on this guy. And let's do a Zam. 63 points of damage. Yeah, everyone apart from Sylvando, I want to focus on um, the Jowler. Simply because it, it has a lot of uh, health going on. Frizzle. 
Sylvando, Sylvando, a good kicking. Nice. Sylvando, no damage. A regular attack will do you. Nice. Let's do another Zam. Oh damn, it's still not dead. Uh, now it should die. There we go. Uh, let's let's go with the orcs. Let's do a crackle on the orcs. And let's do another crackle on the orcs. And they're dead. And you can just do a, a bashing with the stick. Serena has leveled up for a total of seven. Seven will do nothing for Serena, I don't think. So okay, I'm done this island. Let's do a quick... Hello? What's the misc? There we go, Huddle Hill. Okay, let's go, Dave. Hmm. I want to reread that letter. Okay. Ah, okay, it says there. Board the Salty Stallion and travel to Nautica through the Column of Light in the centre of the Inland Sea. Column of Light? I remember that being in the letter. I don't... Okay, fine. Let's just get on the stallion. That must be... Something. So we have to sail towards a column of light. Good god, okay. It's a good thing I've got my objective turned on. Um, should I zoom to wherever that is? Okay, let's, let's zoom back to... Uh... Let's zoom to... What's that that I've anchored to somewhere before? This Zwarz Rust Sea. Let's try that, shall we? Because it might want me to sail all the way from here. But... Let's see, let's have a look at the map. Oh, okay, there's the Pillar of Light. Well, it's a good thing I found the objective on the map. Yes. Nautica. So we're just like chilling under the sea now, which is nice. And let's just have a chat with all these mermaids. Welcome to the seabed realm of humans from on high. It has been many centuries since your kind dropped by. If you should miss the air above, just tell me and I'll send you. I have the power to summon bubbles, one of which I'll lend you. Uh, no, I don't want to go back then. Nauticus through that cave. Let's, uh, are there any... Uh, ooh, hello. A piece of water sedge. Whatever that may be. Ooh, the rainbow glows brightly. One of the orbs must be nearby. Okay. Let's have a... Well, to be fair, there's not that much divergent paths. Yeah, this looks very pretty. I like it. Very pretty indeed. Cravens, <sighs> this place is a veritable paradise under the sea. Just when you think you've seen it all, you find yourself in mermaid town. So we can breathe on the water now? That harp is something else. Well, now we're here, I guess we can find out if that story about the giant pearl is just an old wives' tale or not. 
Finding the orb is important, but we need to talk to the Queen first. We have to tell her about Michelle. Okay, let's go uh, to have a chat with the Queen, shall we? This frog wants to speak to us for whatever reason. In all my two score and twenty ten years, I've never talked to a human till today. You must be the guest Queen Marin Marina mentioned. It's in it's Her Majesty's magic that lets you breathe below the water. A special service for our guests of honor. Without you, we'd be goners. You'd be goners. She awaits you in her pearly palace at the pinnacle of the prominence. I speak, of course, of the tower at the top of the hill. Okay. Oh, there's so there's so much happening down here. I won't explore it all, but. We have to go and see the Queen first. You should be in here. That's a church. Uh, I don't think the Queen is in here. Are we at the top of the hill yet? Or is she even higher up? Oh. Could she be up here? Okay, I don't let me climb any further. Oh no. Never mind. Oh, a red chest. We always welcome red chests. Another mini medal. Um The humans are coming. Oh look at this! Gravity is nothing. Okay, I'm getting sidetracked. I will explore all the shops. But let's just have a look on the map. Oh, so the palace is that. Okay. The palace is, is, the, is the queen also, like, a priest? Or is this the queen? Her majesty awaits you in the throne room presently. But if you permit me, I will carry you up there. Oh, okay. Yes, I'm prepared. We don't need to fall. A moment swim and we'll be in the queen's audience hall. Ooh. Wow, okay. But somehow up here now. Let's have a talk with her then. I welcome you to Nautica, the land beneath the waves. What brings you, Prince of Dandrasil, down to these coral caves? Huh? How do you know he's the Prince of Dandrasil? <laughs> I have a second sight that touches every quarter, by which I keep abreast of all the news above the water. Of doomed love between men and mermaids, let us later speak. First, allow me to present the item that you seek. Behold the shining sphere of green, the orb you humans need. The treasures of the world above are marvellous indeed. Consider this my thanks for what you did for dear Michelle. Pray take it kindly, travellers, and may it serve you well. I witnessed the whole sorry tale. It always breaks my heart. The tragedy of man and mermaid doomed to live apart. But while the mermaid's burden holds, such romances are blighted. And love between man and sea maiden fizzles unrequited. For years now, I have sought a way to remedy this curse. Alas, my every effort ends in failure or worse. You humans cannot help but seem a fragile kind to we, who live five hundred years and more down here beneath the sea. But though the flame of human life burns short, it burns so bright. You never cease to struggle. No, you push, you strive, you fight. And so your kind admire our kind, but we admire in turn. It is the world tree's will that from each other we should learn. It was the world tree's will that brought Michelle and Kai together. I pray that in their next lives they may stay that way forever. 
so too was it the world tree's will that brought you here today. But now, dear luminary, you must be upon your way. So set sail on the tide of time that flows ceaselessly on. And if Yggdrasil wills it, we shall meet again anon. <laughs> Remember, though the paths we walk are filled with twists and turns, all roads lead from the Tree of Life, and to the Tree return. No. Oh. Sir, we have mermaid for each other, awarded for easing Michelle's heart following her ill-fated interspecies romance. Let's have a chat with everyone, shall we? Humans live on land, mermaids swim the sea, and that's the way it'll always be. Still, in Queen Marina's eyes, we're all equal. Her Majesty's a magn magnanimous mark. Fair but fair, we can all learn a thing or two from her. Very true. Let's exit. Yes, please. Well, what a wonderful queen. Fair, helpful, and I see a side quest on the minimap, so let's have a chat with this mermaid. I was obsessed with humans about 50 years ago. When their ship sailed overhead, I'd watch them from below. There was a certain trading ship which brought me so much joy, for in its for in its crew there was a most delightful little boy. His tiny fingers tickled on Eli's silver strings, and every day from dawn to dusk the darling boy would sing. The songs he sang were nothing like the dirges of our nation. Those merry medleys moved me to a state of exultation, but after just a few short years I heard his voice no more. Perhaps he left the crew and now he sings his songs ashore. Oh how I wish to hear once more those heavenly refrains. Could you find him, friend, and beg that boy to sing again? Yeah, okay. L thank you. Let me tell you all I recall of him. It was so long ago my memories grow dim. His ship was brightly coloured, silver, gold, chartreuse and pink. A weird was painted on the prow gondolier, I think. Ah, I think I know who she's talking about. It might have been Placido. But hang on, it can't have been Placido if it was 50 years ago. It must be an old man somewhere. <laughs> Why, I'm fishing for a fish. Fit for a dish to put before the queen. I'm the official makers of her majesty's <laughs> meals, don't you know? He looks so angry. You humans fish for fish too, don't you? Why can't we? I mean, you know what, fair enough. You can you can fish if you like. Uh, we've already we've already done the rounds around here. We found the red chest. Let's go back down and uh, see if we can find some decent weaponry. Okay, there's an inn there, which is all nice. Let's uh, see if we can find the iron and weapon store. Here we are. Oh, it's you. It's a shark. Um, uh, that is very unfortunate. Hmm. To the bank. Uh... Cancel. Well, that's unfortunate. Can I... Okay, I can speak to the mermaid. Uh, a coral hairpin, strong medicine, nothing that I really want, to be honest. Um, can I really not buy anything from the armor or weapon store? Hmm. How do I... Is there any way I can please the shark? Well, none of our party members are fish, so we might have some difficulty. We can't speak to that thing. Um... Okay. Can you speak to this guy? Can you help us? May men are wary, but compared to the brother, you look like lovely little lambs. Blah blah blah. Um. Okay, that's somewhat disappointing. Let's just run back down, shall we? Uh, 
He's all his guests, makes up for him, blah blah blah. Uh, that's awkward. I must be missing something. Yeah, let's go back. Um, hmm. <sighs> okay. If anyone knows how on earth we get into the armor shop, let me know. But for now, let's go back to Gondolier and um, find that boy who she speaks of. That can be our little side quest of the day. Yeah, that was nice. We got to Nautica. We got that orb. I'm not sure where we go from here, though. There's no, um... segue into the next bit of the tale. Ask Queen Marina. Oh, interesting. So we have to go and speak to Marina again. Well, it's a good thing we're heading back anyway. We'll find whoever this singing person is, and then we'll go back to the Queen, I suppose. And then maybe she'll tell us how to speak in a shark tongue. So, a singing boy... I don't know. Let's see. There is, um... Someone... I think that might be a key, actually. Uh, I've already, I've already given it to Valentino. I don't know what we want to do there. Let's see, Misc Quest Catalog takes you to Tango. Oh, okay, yeah, I can't go there. I. I'm sure I have delivered it to Valentino. Oh, hang on. You're a bard. Could it be you? Um. They ask, they talk about a voice they hear it on the sea. But people who hear it on the sea, blah, blah. Hang on. Signal Universal was cancelled to shame. It would be the perfect chance for all the people to hear my beautiful voice. Speaking of a beautiful voice, the sailors say, talk about a voice they hear out in the sea. They tell me it's simply bellissimo. But the people hear it, they fall asleep. And when they sleep, a horrible monster attacks the ship and drag her down into the water. Could it be you? Is it you? Mm. Oh, uh, okay. I've kind of forgotten about the the story of Gondolier. Is it you? Luciano. Wait, who's Luciano? Hmm. You are Luciano. Hmm. I'm gonna go back. Let's see. Hmm. Purple. Oh, I don't want to heal. Whoops. Zoom to Nautica. <sighs> oh gosh. Okay. Let me run back to where that side quest was. It could be the Luciano person, but I don't know. But either way, I need to go back to the Queen, so it's all good. Okay, nope, that ain't it. Let's just go back to the Queen. Hmm... 
So sail on the tide of time to the passive war blah blah. Nothing else? Oh, greetings, luminary prey. What brings you back to me? Do you require the counts of the queen beneath the sea? Mm-hmm, I thought so. If you're happy to be led, allow me to advise you on the path that lies ahead. In the western reaches, through your shining whirlpool swirls, there lies a fine academy for graceful little girls. The master's an eccentric sort, so you might find him quite mad, but if you were to visit him, I'm sure he'd make you glad. This is all the vision that granted unto me to show. Go forth, my child, and find this place. The world tree wills it so. So, I need to go to the west to find an academy. Is what I'm understanding from this. Hang on. Let me speak to her again. In the western reaches, through a shining whirlpool swirls. That has a fine cabbage of crystal gills. Through a whirlpool swirls. Okay, let's just disappear. Let's see. Um, yeah, I don't know. I still can't speak to that shark thing, though. You know what? I think now's a decent time to end off the episode. Uh, okay, so you are the priestess. Let us do a confession. I think next time... We will... Probably... I could do some side quests, but I'm not sure. Um, yeah, we'll do that. I'll do some... Oh, I don't know. I'll figure it out next time. I'm a bit confused. I'll probably try and find where this academy is, though. And then, once I've got to a point where I'm not confused about where I'm going, what I'm doing, I'll do some side quests. So, thank you all so much for watching, and have a great day!